Say you didn't tell me either. They all good shots. You just got to make them. That's all it comes down to. Interesting to speak to that. When, when it gets in your head a little bit, you do lose a little confidence. It's something you've been doing all your life at a high level. Yeah. To all of a sudden, not have that same expectation that's going to go in, not know as much. What is that like to go through a little bit? Um, it's... I would say it's kind of hard, especially like from a shooter's mindset. Like when you when you put so much time and effort into something, and uh, in a big game like that, it doesn't really show. It kind of can um, put you down a little bit. But I've always been taught, uh, like been like being here, like just keep your head up, stay positive, and uh, the next shots n next shots gonna fall, especially if you're a shooter. So you just gotta keep confidence. Did you feel good leaving your hand? I mean, in form wise, everything feel the same for you pretty much. Yeah, that's it. It's felt the same way since I was a since I was a baby. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's really any problems with my mechanics. I just think I gotta make a shot. What about in terms of do other things on the court to do, whether it's defending, rebounding, those sort of things? Do you, when the shots not going, do you try and focus on those things a little bit more? To yeah, I mean, I I gotta focus on that to get on the floor. So. I think focusing on defense and other aspects of my game is really going to help me down the road. And, um, I know defense is a big factor for me, and I, me myself, I feel like I've been improving in that area. So I just got to keep getting better at it, focusing on the other aspects of my shot to come. So. If you ever had a shooting stretch like this or a slump, I mean, it seems like over the course of your career in high school, it wasn't. You know, yeah. it, and how much is that learning how to – you know, just the, just the development of playing through those. Yeah, but in high school, I mean, I'm playing at a way higher level right now. So, you know, I was playing for my dad, so I didn't really shoot myself out of the slump, <laughs> actually. But um, just being here, uh, you just got to know w what to do and how to, like, take care of yourself. Um, like, just getting up extra shots, coming in here, shooting, working on it in practice. Um, I, like I said, this is, this is all really about confidence. That's all it really comes down to. And, um like just relying on the work that you've been putting in, summer, fall, and um, looking looking to the next shot, even if the first one doesn't really go in. If you like, talk to Joey at all, I mean, it seemed like Joey had some stretches like that too, and he you talk about going through other things. And it seemed like when he was hitting us, he would, you know, start mid-range games. I mean, is he, is he in your ear at all? Like, yeah, um, I talked to Joey a lot. Uh, he he's actually been encouraging me to shoot a lot. Um, I know we had some tough stretches last year and a couple like years uh, before that, but Joey's been like a big mentor for me. He's been um, telling me to keep shooting the ball, especially when he has a shooter shooter's mindset. I uh, also feel that Joey is a totally different player from last year. He's a complete player. Um, shoots the ball really good. Um, gets up on his jump shot really well, and is a good person to take notes from. What have conversations been like with you and the coaches, or even coaches, uh, just about getting out of the like, recent slump? Um, I mean, me and Coach, we, I mean, we had a pretty good relationship. All I say, uh, all he tells me is uh, keep shooting. Um, I, I always make an effort to come in the gym on my own and work on work on the things I need to work on and uh, help the team out. And um, I think my shot is one of the things that can really help us uh, going forward. So, Coach is encouraging me to shoot the ball, and I really appreciate that. Here, just knowing that there's there's opportunity out there. Does that sort of get a light at the end of the tunnel sort of thing? So you keep working through it. There's minutes, there's shots to be had. If you can go out there and make those plays. You know? Yeah, I think that's the case. And um, I think once I like get back into a groove, I think I'll be more confident going down the road. Uh, especially, I need to do, if my shot's not falling, I need to do other stuff like getting other people involved or being involved in the defensive end, bringing energy. Uh, I think I just need to. Like, just <clears throat> figure out other ways I can help the team if my shot isn't falling, but um, get my shot back back going is what I need to work on. This is upset today that one of the things yeah. about with your team having six games in the last 16 days, that made it harder for you to come in and get your shots up that you should shoot your way out of it. Yeah. Did you, get rid of them? Did you find that it was hard for you to get extra shots up as they said? Um, I mean, it's always going to be hard because with the schedule we had, I mean, we played so many games in, in the span of days, and we could only come in the gym a certain amount of time, and we, we always practice. We either always practice and we got class, or um, it's, it's other aspects involved in life. So I think that me personally, I always try to get shots up whenever I can, but I don't know everyone else's schedule. Everybody might be busy or anything like that. So I think just getting getting shots up, Probably, um, I would say just 
come in early morning like I like how I normally do. I always like try to do that, but outside of that, um, I don't really know. And it was hard during that stretch. Yeah. yeah. And with, with the things that they're asking, the coaches are asking you to do defensive rebounding. When you watch practice film, I don't know if you get a chance to do that or not, or game film. Are you seeing some of the areas what they're talking about? Little area windows of opportunity where you can continue to improve in that area? Yeah. Um, Coach TK has been my uh, my mentor. He's been picking picking out points in film where I need to get better at. So I'm um, just like watching film and trying to get better is one of the main things I need to really focus on. Uh, like I said, TK has been really uh, helping me out, picking out certain things, uh, clipping them, and helping me find out like where I can get better, at, like where I can be at on defense or making boxing out something as simple as boxing out or making a rotation, just things like that to help help me improve like going forward. Thanks a lot for that. Thank you, Barry. Thanks for your time.